There are two major differences between the 757 and the 767 flight deck. First difference, you'll notice right in front of you, is the column. Now I know it's hard to see because it's dark, but bear with me. This is a cylindrical shape, it's wider, and the 767 is more of a skinny curve shape. One more difference is the hydraulics panel has no demand pumps. The demand pumps on the 76 are knobs that are here, if you notice, if you remember from my video. The FMC is something else I couldn't show you in the, my videos, but I'll show you right now. I'll go through the pages very quickly. In it ref personal page, this is where the pilot puts all the weights for the route, uh, reserves, and cruise altitude. Takeoff page is where he puts the flaps and it calculates the speeds that the pilot takes off at. And has two pages. This is the second page. This is where it puts the runway direction and the wind in reference to the runway. Parts and arrivals page, route page, it can actually extend to several pages because of, depending on the length of the flight. VNAV page, progress page, it shows the distance, estimated time of arrival, and fuel between you and the next waypoint. And nav radios, you can actually tune in the radios here. application of the ground maintenance bus in the 757 is very simple. First, must make sure that we have ground power available. Then, we come over here. Now on some 757s, it's on the left side like this one is, or it's on the right. This one is on the left. All you gotta do is push the button that says ground service. And then all the lights come on. Now the ground bus only does the lights on the inside because it is a separate bus just for the cabin crew. It doesn't activate any main systems. For the main systems, we need to activate the actual external power button that's in the flight deck that you see right here. Okay. Shut out the APU in the 757. First, we have to make sure that the packs are off. And the APU bleed valve is off. Or closed, actually. Then... Okay. Now that the pressure is off, we can actually turn off the knob. It's also a good idea to make sure that the external power is on, so... People don't get a shock when the light goes off. Now it's taking a while because it's cooling down. So in a couple of minutes or so, we'll see it go off. We'll see on the status page how it's doing. takes a minute or two. So it needs to pull down, and there it goes. That's it. Turning off external power is as simple as turning off the button. Of course, don't forget to turn off that battery.